Welcome to this brief overview of the Asset Management Process app available beginning with Serena Service Manager 5.2. Asset Management tracks the acquisition, ownership, and value of financial assets throughout their life cycle. This idle compliant process is fully integrated with the configuration management and the service request process apps included with Serena Service Manager. First, Let's take a look at how financial assets are added to your system. Asset managers can easily submit new assets. First, select an asset manager who's responsible for the asset. Next, select an asset class such as a computer. You may see new fields on the form depending on the asset class so you can provide pertinent information as needed. Select the approval tab to determine the approval levels needed for the asset. For now, I'm going to bypass business and financial approval by selecting no for these fields. Now I'll submit my asset. Service technicians can also create assets from service requests that are in fulfillment. Once an asset's purchased and assigned to an employee, the service request is automatically closed. Configuration analysts can also add assets from configuration items this creates a financial record for the CI. Administrators can also use the powerful Import Data feature in Application Administrator to import assets from a spreadsheet. This is a great way to add assets from another system. Once you have assets in your system, you can use dashboards to track their progress through their life cycle. The Asset Dashboard, for example, shows assets that are in the process of being purchased. You can also see the types of assets that are in inventory and available for employees. These reports show assets that are waiting for approval from business or financial approvers. Asset managers can use the Recent Activity Dashboard to see assets that have been submitted and need to be moved through the process. Other reports on this dashboard show the assets added, disposed of, or collected in the last month. Select a bar in the report to drill down to see the results. Another nice feature is the ability to see the assets currently assigned to a user. To see this information, click on any asset assigned to a user, then click the User Assets tab to see the full list. One of the highlights of the Asset Management Process app is the built-in depreciation calculations. Several depreciation standards are provided, and calculations occur automatically. You can see depreciation calculations on the Accounting tab for individual assets. Your financial team can use the Depreciation Dashboard to see depreciation rates for assets by department and by asset class. Finally, asset managers can handle assets once users no longer need them. The best way to do this is through the My Assets Activity View. They can choose to collect an asset and move it back to the IT inventory so it's available for other users, or they can choose to salvage and dispose of an asset. At this point, depreciation calculations stop. Once an asset is disposed of, the linked CI is set to inactive. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on the new Asset Management Process app. For full documentation, visit help.serena.com.